Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blanc from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today in part two of my three-day overnight uh, bushcraft trip at the beach, you can join me and my German Shepherd dog Iker for different projects at the beach. In part one we've built a primitive shelter, that means I built it, Ika look at me and is stealing my branches. <laughs> And in part two, we start again in the morning, have a great time doing some bushcraft projects, sleep alone there at the beach and just enjoy our intensive time in the nature. So if you want, stay with us. Aika, come. Come here. What a beautiful morning. The sun is shining. It is complete silent. I just hear from time to time a few airplanes, nothing else. So I can't I do a morning walk, a really long morning walk because I have the whole day for my projects. I had not to hurry in the morning because it is not ending today. So we enjoyed to do nothing in the early, early morning hours. Um, the night was not so good as I thought because it was too cold. So I've got only my uh, my towel and the rabbit skin. And in the night I'm standing up and uh, bring my... It's not a pullover but something like a pullover. And wear it and I also bring um, this here. Oh, this is normally my equipment bag, which I have in my backpack, but I use it as a blanket tonight for I can't me because there is a wind channel here over the water. There is nothing in the way of the wind, no trees, so the wind can blow here directly through and it was cold the night and uncomfortable. <laughs> so. Um, my neck is hurting and because of this I had massive head edge, um, really hard. So because of this I doesn't film in the morning. I had to make myself now a um, medicine tea. So there are a lot of willow trees growing and the bark of the willow tree is some painkiller if you make a tea out of it. So I will use it now. I hope that the head edge is done better. So, and I built a little bit at my camp, but I'm not ready yet. So, I wanted to show it to you now. So, this is how I can I spend the night. Um, I was digging there in the air this morning because there is complete shadow, but the sand is cooler if you dig in it a little bit because it is more wet here in the underground so I can love to sleep there. Um, so my mattress out of the willow tree branches and leaves was not enough but I know this yesterday there was just not enough time to make it better so for this night I had to collect more. Oh yeah, there is sand everywhere. Thank you Aika. Um, and like you can see that the shadow, the roof is not complete but mostly covered. Uh, it could happen that it will rain today or that there will be a thunderstorm. So maybe I can fix it a little bit more. We will see. So this is what I've built this morning. Um, I create something like a wall here out of just branches. It is a little bit for sun protection and a little bit for the safety feeling in the head. So um, you know the, in the Stone Age the, the humans feel safer in a cave. Today people feel safer in a house, in a room. 
and when you sleep outdoors you feel safer if you have something like a wall around you. It is not really protection, it is more for your head that you see, oh, okay, there is only one open part, I'm safe here. So this is not really weather protection, it is um, a little bit for the sun, but you can see there are holes everywhere, so I had to close it to have a weather protection. It is more really for the head to feel safer and then you will also sleep better. Um, these are only the branches which had the right size. I've cut them away here in the inner part yesterday and later I had to use the bigger ones and cut them to fix uh, and close this part here also but at first I had to drink my tea. It is a little bit windy now. You can see that the water and that the leaves and the clouds are very fast. So I had to take care and watch the clouds if there is a thunderstorm coming, that I am ready for everything. I have to mark the water level again at two different points because I want not to be surprised if the water is the water level is going higher very fast. So this could happen faster as you thought. Uh, so check out your area if there is some barrage on a river and the water level is going higher very fast. And also, which is very um, dangerous, is when you stay at a river and it is raining 100 kilometers away. So, at my place here, if it is raining in the mountains, and here is sunshine weather, it could also happen that the water level is going high very fast. Also, when there is only sunshine, because it rains a few hundred kilometers away, uh, or there is a thunderstorm. So, Please be really careful and check out the water level. What I have here is some birch tree uh, bark. Um, it is a natural fire starter. You can scratch out the skin. It is very small and it will catch the sparkle from your fire still very good. In combination with some Maya wood, which includes a lot of resin, it is a great fire starter. Like you can see it in the fire and smoke direction. It is very windy, so it was not so easy to make the fire because the wind is bringing the sparkles away. But finally I've got it 
So, and I need this metal for the underground because only the, the stones here it is very uh, difficult to start the fire with the fire still because you always uh, switch away. So with a um, hard underground it is always better. Marika, you have so many shadow places and now you had to sit next to the fire in the sun. Hmm? Was denn? For my willow tree tea. I had to cut away some of the small branches. A willow tree is a really strong tree. It can always grow up again. So some small branches like this will not uh, matter anything. You can remove the bark for the tea with your fingernails. You just can make it away like this. So we need this part here and this here not. The willow tree bark tea doesn't taste good, but it will help me because it helps against fever and pain. So because it is included salicylic acid, which is today in a lot of fever and pain medicine. So and this is my natural painkiller. I hope it will help. The tea is ready now. I had to wait till it is cool down. And after drinking the tea, I need the pot because I have here an bannock um, bread uh, ready mixed at the home. I have also put in some nuts 
and a little bit sugar and here I have cranberries. So I mix it with water and then put this baking paper into the pot and then put the bread mix inside and make it over the fire. So, I've put some water into the flavor. Um, at first only a little bit water, because you can always give some more water on it, but it is hard to make a bread uh, with too much water, so be careful. And here into this zip pocket I can mix it very well without having my hands full of uh, full of bread and you can wash it out and use it again. Ah, Eika! <laughs> Eika shower. Um, of course you can make this bread also with a um, branch over the fire or into the pan, but then you had to add oil, so do it so easy or so complicated like you want it. Hmm, riecht schon gut, oder? Smells nice. Prima, prima Eka. Come up. I fixed my pot with the sweet bannock bread now here at this um, branch construction that I've built yesterday because like this the heat will be more at each part of the pot and not only at one side till I um, move it. Uh, so now I only had to wait till the heat is from down to the top of the pot and everything is ready to eat. Making firewood is here very easy because I just had to use this dead willow tree branches. But at first they are pretty small and second they doesn't burn too long because this is a very soft wood. The softer the wood the faster it burns like spruce tree 
and hard wood like oak will burn very long. But um, I don't find other wood here because the beach here is covered with beech trees. I just had one hardwood tree dead there in this right, but it is so big and I don't want to cut a tree like this when it is so hot. So I had to use this wood and just make very often firewood and take care about fire, watch every 10 minutes, give them fresh wood that it will be not out so fast. So I only make my bread and then I let the fire go out and just in the evening again for, for food and over the day nothing. Now I want to close this wall there. There is not much to do, only a few branches, but it looks better when it is closed. So I don't like to use the saw now, but I want to finish it. And after doing this, maybe I take a nap or I go to the water with Ica. Let's see. So my camp is nearly closed now. If I want, I could close these holes now with leaves, branches with leaves, dead grass or something like that. But I'm honestly, I don't really think that I would do this today because it is so hot and I can work so slowly when it's so hot. So I always uh, work from step to step. So I thought now I finish this and then I can take a bath. I had to search firewood, then I can take a bath again. <laughs> so um, everything is about cool down again. And Ica loves it too, so I had to um, I had to catch no, she had to catch branches the whole time in the water. If she bring the first, I had to put away the second. So she really liked it here, and me too.
Look at this braid, how long it needs to be over the fire. I saw this on a picture, picture and I thought, no, oh, this could be a good idea. I tried it out, but I don't know that it takes so long, so much time. So I'm happy that I have something else to eat because otherwise I will fall down now. Um, so I just let it be there and wait. So of course the wind is strong and the flames are not at one point the whole time like it should be. So there is not the full heat. Uh, next time I use the pan or the, um, the wooden branch again. My day project is to create a weir basket to build a fish trap. Uh, I wanted to make this out of willow tree because the branches from the willow tree are flexible. So you can use them for something like that. Um, I will collect some and then I sit down here at the fire again and try to uh, fix the fish trap. So I'm not allowed to use it here. I just can build it. I can show you how it works, but I cannot wait until a fish is inside because uh, this is not allowed here in Germany. I have not the right to fish there. This is not my property, so um, I can just show it to you. <laughs> this is Germany. Rules for everything. Come. There is just a part of the hill falling down there of the sand. So the water is always uh, bring away the sand. The trees are dead at the end and then there is nothing to hold the sand. The water at this side, it is much clearer because the water at the other side is just so invisible because of the sand which is coming with the water. But this part here is apart from the other side, so it isn't floating and the sand is at the ground. Mostly, because as I made the German scene before, so I always speak in German and then I make the English scene. And as I do the English at uh, the German scene, I was standing there and while I'm filming, 
there is sound falling down from the top down there and it was a shock moment for me because I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, you can see here how much sand there is falling down. What you can see there is are all roofs. So the trees here at the end will fall down step by step and then they are dead and yeah, it is not growing this part, it is being smaller with every time something fall down. This is what I'm searching for. These young branches here from the willow tree. They are young, fresh, flexible and perfect for my project. Before I make the fish trap, I make dinner because when it needs also so much time, like my breakfast, I can eat at midnight. So <laughs> I make it now. Um, the spanok bread in the pot looks ready now, but it is soft. So I thought it will be hard and then ready. But um, this doesn't work so like I thought, so I don't try this anymore. I do something wrong. I don't know what. <laughs> so for dinner I have um, branched bread. This here is flavor with spices. I just had to add water. And then I mix it with onion and meat. Uh, it is called Schwarzwälder Schinken. So it is from Italy. Uh, but I don't know the English translation, so it is bacon, but a special kind of bacon. I found this plate. It sounds like plastic. I have no idea if it is plastic or stone, but I use it as a plate that I can um, cut my stuff small. <sighs> the present of the day beautiful sundown. I really enjoy this time outdoors.
The part which was down in the pot is black, but I am expecting this, but the upper part looks very good. Schmeckt wirklich gut. Tastes really good. Aika, come. Hier, das ist für dich. Hier. Guti. Aika get outdoors or with more treat than me. Alone her food needs so much space. My dinner needs a little bit more time and while I'm waiting for dinner, I prepare my branches. Aika! Oh, unbelievable, really. So I've collected different sizes and different uh, big branches and before I can... Yo, before I can build with them something, I had to remove the leaves. <laughs> Yeah, it's so good, it's so good, I guess, it's so good. So this goes very easy. Nein, jetzt mal Platz. 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 This goes very easy with the hands. And I don't put the leaves away because I put them under my sleeping area that I can sleep this night better. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. The wind comes really rough now. I think bad weather is coming. So I thought that bad weather is coming today. Now it will come, it seems so. But I just collect my stuff now like I do it every night. That I have everything back in the backpack which I don't need. That there is nothing laying around, no chaos, cows. Um, so this is what I do every night. But today I'm doing it a little bit earlier. If the rain comes faster than I thought that everything is very in a very short time in the shelter. So, and then I had to wait what kind of weather is coming. It needs a lot of time, but now all the willow tree branches are without leaves and I've made three different parts, long and thick, not so thick and small and thin. Um, and I will put these leaves to my sleeping area. I had, um, uh, I had 
something like this before, which is now behind um, at the sleeping area. And I want to eat something and then go to the bed because I want to be asleep when the thunderstorm is there because I've made my roof waterproof mostly but not the side parts and when it is later windy and rainy the rain came, came from different sides and I will get wet but when I'm very tired and asleep it doesn't matter for me so um, I try to sleep very soon and I also learned yesterday that when the sun is away, the mosquitoes are coming. Normally, and when I stay in the wood, the mosquitoes are away when it is getting complete dark. But here they are just coming when it is dark. Over the day we have some, um, some other blood, uh, blood um, eating insects. They are like an, um, no, what's the right word? In German it is Fliege. It is an insect that can fly and it is always going to stinky areas. Ah, there is an, an um, song from ACDC, <laughs> on the wall. I can't remember it. Fly? Yeah, fly. Flies. Flies that are searching for blood. Very, very bad insects. Stomach is full, so I try to sleep now. We see us tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. The night was a kind of night that I don't want to have outdoors. So the thunderstorm was there yesterday, but the thunderstorm was not a massive problem. So I filmed it a little bit. I don't know if if it could, if it is a great picture. I had to check it at home. So there are small thunderstorms which is which are coming and short time so i hear the thunder and then it is away and then it come again so there are different thunderstorm clouds which are coming and i stay mostly dry this night but not complete um, i've put everything over me with what i had i had uh, the backpack beside me then i had some kind of equipment um, sack over me um, but the thunderstorm is not the big problem I want to show you which kind of problem I had now or I have now so this here is my big problem and I don't want to 
stay so much longer here because this could be very dangerous now. You can see the water is really high now. There are rivers through the sandbank where I had my campfire last night. Um, and the water is going higher very quickly. I make new marks this night um, and I was awake a lot of time to check the water. But now it is coming very short, very high and this is dangerous so I had to leave now. Komm mal, komm, wir müssen hier rüber. Komm. Oh Gott, ich bin geschafft. So maybe you hear it at my voice or my briefing. I just want to leave this place there very soon because while I'm talking the water runs through my water mark, which means that the water is coming very fast. So the water is coming for the whole night, but slowly, slowly, slowly. And I always make a ring alarm at my mobile phone that I check the water level, but I was anyway not really sleeping this night. Um, but now it comes so fast that I want to leave at the safe side. I could stay there longer, but then the water is maybe going to my breast and I want to be dry and my equipment should to be dry, so I leave now. And it is better if you make not only water marks, water level marks with stones, it is better if you put a branch in the middle of the stones, not like this, a bigger, massive branch, but this is only for I uh, show you the example. Put a branch in the middle and mark the branch, maybe with strings or plastic stripes that you found somewhere or cut inside with the knife that you can see not only how wide the water is going, also how high it is going, because then you maybe doesn't come back to the safe safety zone at the other side. So I put my willow tree branches with me because I want to make the fish trap. I don't want to leave any, everything there, but I cannot show you how I would, fish, I would fix the fish trap because I don't go back into the water. So I want to sit there and finish it and check out how high the water is going. So I have here now a branch and some cotton plastic strings, I don't know. 
Um, and I will fix this branch now into the water and then mark the water level how high it is actually. I make the water mark with the blue string and what you can see here is that the water is making uh, is, is circulating so that means that the water storm is always getting stronger. Eike, willst du es du haben? Okay, ja, warte, ich, ich tue es dir woanders hin. Geh mal runter. Schau, ich tue es dir hier hin. Komm. So, bitteschön. Ist dann da dein Platz? The string mark is underwater now. There are coming more branches now, later there will come trees and they are swimming very fast so you can see how strong the storm is now. What you also need for the fish trap is natural garn or a metal string. Of course, in a survival situation, you have nothing of this, or you are so lucky that you find some civilization trash. Then you had to make nettle st uh, strings or something like this, or the willow tree bark is also very flexible. And if you be careful, you can knot it also, but really be careful. What I do at first is to make two circles, one bigger, one smaller. Of course, in the nature, you cannot have everything perfect, so try your best. But um, I have some branches with something like this here, a hurting part. So, and this will break. So don't use branches like this. Use branches without anything, without marks or where something is um, demolated. I've made now two circles, a bigger one, smaller one. And when you choose the wood for the circle, um, check out if the wood is fresh enough and elastic enough. So here, this here is an older one, it's, it's brown. And this here is fresher, younger, green, more flexible. This here will break. This here not. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Normally not. So I had to cut away, I had to make with the eggs sharp ends from the willow branches and then I fixed them around the circle 
and then here up came the, another circle and I also fixed the branches and on top I close it. Ah, oh, beautiful, it starts to rain. So the nature really needs the rain now, but can it not wait for one hour, just one hour? Oh. Short update from the water level. There is my watermark branch. So the colored string is not visible because there is a lot of sand in the water. And I've put this branch here at the end of the water and it is now really deep. And this fallen tree here is also here at the underground nearly complete in the water. The first circle is complete soon and then I had to fix the second circle. The water is still going higher but it stops raining and sometimes the sun is out. <laughs> Perfect. What do I want more? If I want to do something and if I had the idea in my head I'm always angry and disappointed if I had to stop for some reason maybe the water is coming too high and I can't work here anymore or it is raining continuously and I have no shelter over my head but now it looks like I can finish it. In the moment, my fish trap looks a little bit like a tippy. I will remove this upper part here and then it is soon ready. How big do you want to have your fish trap is up to you. So you had to know which kind of fish you want to catch with this trap. Is it a small fish or a big massive one? So of course you can make it also out of bigger branches then it is more stable. I'm not sure if this trap will really hold a massive fish. But if you want to catch small one you had to make these holes here between closer. What you can do is use the small flexible parts of a branch and switch them here through the branches. One under, one on top, one under, one on top. So this gives your trap also more stability. So I finished my fish trap now. It works like this. You had to go to a river, for example, and search for the deepest area. And then you had to block the sideways. That means at the deepest point there is free space for your fish trap and at the other sides you block it with stones, branches, tree parts, what else. 
and in the middle, the freeway, came the fish trap. The fish swam, swam inside and is trapped. You can um, also make this hole smaller that the fish can really not come outside again. Or you can sit at um, an area where you can see the fish trap and when you see a fish is coming inside just catch it out and then you have the fish. So you can make it bigger or you can make the smalls, uh, the smalls, the hole smaller. Um, so it is always uh, how big the fish is that you want to uh, catch. For me or for us it is now time to leave. It was a really great experience here outdoors. We both enjoyed the time a lot. Of course the end could be a little bit less stressful but okay. Otherwise it is boring. So the equipment that I use, it was not much, but you find it here in the video description if you are interested in. And if you like the video feel free to comment or thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I hope we see us again in the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye.